Hey guys, so today you and I are going to talk about senior developers code tests and if it's worth testing them. So let's get into it. So the question in question <clears throat> was, Frederick, is it worth our time to test a developer who has more than 15 years of experience as part of our interviewing process? And the short answer is yes. You should always test your developers under all circumstances. Let me explain why. So the problem with the, the, this question is that the perspective seems to be that if you have 15 years of experience, then you know so much that you're above being tested. And that is a very false assumption because it's based on a perception and it's an incorrect perception. And the perception is that the more years you have, the better you are. And that's not true. What the reality is when you're dealing with any type of craftsman in general terms, well, I wouldn't say not necessarily just craftsmen, but people who progress through a skill, any skill, is that they will progress in the beginning of things very rapidly because if you don't know anything you're going to get quite a lot of progress by just learning something but the further you go the less you're going to learn because you're just going to repeat things and embed them even further into your understanding but you're not going to learn all that much new things right so after 15 years of experience you will very likely have accumulated quite a lot of experience and definitely skill, but on average, a developer will not increase their technical value to you, to a company all that much after a certain amount of years. And I would say that the high end of that is going to be around 15 years. It's not that common that a developer who has five years of experience is all that vastly less productive than someone with 10 years of experience. It sounds weird, but I promise you because the, uh, that this is the case. Because it's, it, it really doesn't matter how many years you've spent on something. It's very similar to strength training. If you lift the same weights for five years, that will not make you stronger after 10 years if it's the same me measurement of a resistance. It comes down to what are the challenges that you have faced? Are you increasing the workload? Are you increasing the resistance, if you will, and progressing your skills? And a person who has been working for five years can be a lot more skilled than someone who's been working for 10 years. And you don't know based on the number of years alone. And there are so many companies who have realized this, and this is not just in IT, because it has been the case for quite some time that you would hire someone who had worked for a certain amount of years. And sure, that might work if you are 100% sure that they did the exact same job that you are hiring them for at their last position. And then you can feel fairly confident that this person should be able to do the technical tasks. But in IT, that's a little bit different because here working for 15 years doesn't mean that you have been doing the job in the way that you want the company you're going to now wants the job to be done. It's uh, well, to, for a lack of a better analogy, it's like trying to hire a boat builder. If it just says that they have 15 years and they have been been making small um, paddling boats or like dinghies or whatever. And what you want them to do is to build ships, like full-fledged sailing boats or something like that. The, the, you're, you're going to hire the wrong person. You're going to have to test them because you're, they're, they may not be no translation from um, uh, what they've been doing over to the thing that you want them to do now. And it's definitely the same thing in software development. So. Testing them is vital, but what I think is also interesting is that the question here is more posed towards should we make a technical test for someone with 15 years of experience? And as I said, absolutely, you should always test the technical skills because you simply don't know if they have if, if they keep, keep if they have kept up after 15 years. If I've seen this happen many times, where you hire when you have someone who comes in with many, many years of experience and uh, then they can't do the most basic of coding challenges because they, for a long, they long, a long time ago, they gave up their keyboard for 
Excel sheets and PowerPoint presentations and they've not really done any coding for quite some time. Now, if you're hiring someone who needs to do a lot of programming, I will argue to you that it's all, well, it might not be the best thing for you to hire somebody with 15 years of experience. It would see, I would even go as far as to say it's kind of weird to hire someone with that amount of experience just to do coding. Because as I said, the difference between the technical excellency of someone with 15 years versus someone with five years, it's going to be some difference there, depending once again on what they've faced with the, within their previous roles, right? But the difference is not going to be so vast that you're going to see a three times, I mean, three times the value of the person who has 15 years of experience, because as I said, it's a diminishing return on investment the further you go along. If you're hiring someone with that amount of experience, it should be because they have those years of experience and they can actually influence other people to be more productive. That's usually the way that successful IT companies work, where they hire senior staff, really senior staff, that know how to communicate effectively the experience that they have, and they hire and have them work together with more junior profiles, people who don't know all that much, because that's, the, that's one of the best combinations. You have people who have a lot of experience and people who have a, don't have all that much experience, but they have a fresh perspective on things. They are learning new tools and so forth and so forth. And if they can work together, that's the best of both worlds. You have the youthful, spirited, high energy people together with the experienced uh, developers who know what's going to work and what's not going to work. And if they can collaborate, that's really great. So if you're hiring someone with 15 years of experience, the focus should not be necessarily on the technical challenges. It should be on their ability to actually lead and their experience level within the IT community. And that is where you should put most of your energy, because otherwise you're basically just hiring a super senior developer to do a task that you could hire at a much lower cost someone with just a few years of experience. So what I want you to take away from this is that you should always test your developers because there is really nothing you can learn. Well, nothing you can trust in just out of the box about the amount of years some, someone has spent in the industry. Think about the most successful IT companies in the world. They were started by people who had, were half the age of a lot of the most experienced developers at their, in, their, in their time. And today they are running like super large companies with a lot of success, which have gained a lot of success. So just because someone has 15 years of experience, that doesn't mean that they are better fit for the role than someone who has five years of experience. If it's just about technical challenges, it doesn't have to be that case either. It can also be that the people with five years of experience actually have really worked more and seen more than the people with 15 years of experience. It all comes down to what have they been doing for all of these years? And you can never trust the, the, that number alone. You always have to check it because you might deal with a person who has kind of just clocked in nine to five and never really thought about anything and they don't really have anything to bring to the table. They just have that number, 15 or 20 or whatever years. And that's not worth anything to your company. What's war what, what matters is what they will produce. And with so many years of experience, odds are that the technical challenge you should test them because if they're going to do any coding, you always have to check if they know it. But the focus should definitely be on the social aspects because with that many years, you're going to pay them a lot of money. And I promise you, odds are that they will not be able to outcode someone with five years or 10 years because at some point, there is no way for a, an average developer to progress their technical skills to a point where they're worth three times the salary of somebody else. Have a great day.